There's something else to it. Science, at best, is just educated Theories. guesses. Yes. Like, yeah, so there's, I guess some stuff can be proven definitively, but at the same time, there's so much that can't, so. Just like the world being round. We decided that in the 1400s, and now we just still just assume it's round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're one of those? <laughs> no. I just like to spit crazy theories, and... It is interesting, though. It is all hypothesis. Even uh, Newton's book of physics or whatever. Every single sentence started with what if or what if. if this is possibility. It could have been titled if, basically, the title of the book because that's, that's just littered with ifs. Hmm. It's all theory. Even yep. gravity. People still don't fucking understand gravity either. That's really? something that people still have to guess on. Like, scientifically, we don't get it. So, again, I think there's something to it that's beyond our understanding. And what if Earth is on a fifth dimensional uh, plane of existence? And so a lot of the shit that we know on a third dimension can't explain everything that's why you know, yeah. ufos and cryptids and all this other shit we can't wrap our minds around because we are on a physical 3d mm -hmm. and have physical you know scientific ways of proving things and stuff so all these creatures and all these other things that we can't comprehend we will never comprehend because we aren't on the level of it yeah and speaking of this whole matrix thing there's this, I don't know if I've told you about this, but there's a psychic. I watched a video with him, and again, take with a grain of salt everything I say, because I like just talking about crazy shit. But the psychic mm -hmm. said that he basically went into a meditative state. And I've heard this with a lot of, like, alien abduction witnesses. A lot of times, if they go into a deep meditation, they can have, like, experiences with... Andromedans or Octurans and all these other different species. They somehow all of us are connected to certain species, like two. I don't know again if it's genetics or souls. I think it has something to do with where our souls come from. So if our souls come from Orion Belt or fucking here and there, mm -hmm. whatever, uh those are the our like original people. So if there's like, you know, a species in that constellation and that's where we're technically from, reincarnation-wise or incarnation-wise. Uh, those are the people we're going to connect to once we enter that like collective consciousness, where we connect to the whole universe. We can connect to our, you know, our old selves that used to live in these places. So, anyways, <laughs> this guy though has a different kind of case where he went into a meditative state to do some psychic shit, and he ended up leaving Earth basically, and. He was with this big winged being. It was humongous, like, you know, 12 foot, maybe higher being. And he basically looked like, kind of like a reptilian, but like, just like black, though. Like, very dark and stuff entity. And he showed what Earth looks like through, like, a spiritual way. So you could see, like, this, the grid of Earth. And it looked like an imprisoned earth with rings around it that were all like rainbow colored hmm. and this black being explained to this dude like these are the thought patterns that we control and so each color like the purple ring was you know christianity and you know this color ring was atheism and this color ring was buddhism all hmm. of them were their own separate thing and everyone all of our thoughts connect to these rings around the earth that's imprisoning the earth basically not letting us you know, oh. escape when it comes to thoughts and shit. And they say, as long as they keep us on these tracks, um, yeah. these religious, you know, thought patterns and shit like that, even if you don't believe in God, there's a thought pattern for that as well. Oh. But I was thinking with me, and maybe even you, like, we don't, we're not atheists, we're not religious, we're literally exploring things still, we're yeah, still trying to get a concept. Yeah, and that's what this matrix system isn't made for us. Yeah. That's why we don't fit in because all these people are on different thought patterns and shit that are being controlled and manipulated by a higher dimensional or a lower yeah. dimensional being. Cause these Dracos or these reptilians or whatever the fuck that have been here for 400 million years or some shit like that. They're just these demons that we 
think of, you know, in the Bible and shit like that. And it just proves more to my theory, you know, that the Bible itself or Christianity was established for just a control reason from the get-go, not just, you know, throughout the years of being edited. Because throughout the editing, you know, they added revelations and hell being all fiery and all that shit way later on. That wasn't in the Bible to begin with. They use it to make people fearful. Christianity is amazing at make, making their followers fear God. And uh, fear is what demons feed on, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe that's why Christians are always being possessed and having to get exercised. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder, serial killers, you know, maybe they're being possessed by demons. But I don't think that's the case. Because I don't think they're fearful. I think they were born evil. A lot of these serial killers were these evil dudes back in you know, the 70s and 80s and shit when serial killers were becoming a the thing. They were, they were just evil, incarnated. Because we had a lot of flower children, a lot of these Blu-ray souls from Atlanta's times and stuff throughout the 70s and stuff being born. And they were the ones who protested Vietnam and were doing LSD and opening up their minds to, you know, a new consciousness. So, they even out this balance, you have evil that incarnates around the same time. And, uh, they took that to their advantage, too. I mean, think about it. A lot of serial killers preyed on some of these hippies that were, you know, needing rides and shit like that, hitchhiking and such. So, it's like, uh, Star Wars, Jedi and Sith, man. You know, you have the good and the evil. You have to have both. You can't have just all Jedi. That's why Anakin was made to bring balance to the Force, to bring out the Sith, so that it wasn't just all Jedi. So, you have to have one or the other. Or both, or whatever, I guess that's what I'm saying. Like Plato says, whatever is, is. So, even if it is bad, or it makes you sad, or mad, or this or that, it's supposed to be. You have to have the happiness and the, the sadness. They go hand in hand. You have to experience both parts of life. Shit. My joint's going out on me. So, I had to move the podcast outside because I'm smoking a joint. And it sucks. We had 20 minutes of solid audio. And uh, it was weird. We were talking about reptilians and dracos and stuff. And how they came into this universe about... 426 million years ago and shit like that from a whole different dimension not even this universe a different universe altogether and uh how they've controlled earth and shit for quite a while how they were imprisoned here by the galactic federation all this shit but anyways while we were talking about all that shit fucking my audio just stopped it completely like deleted the episode it was fucking crazy so it's a bummer we had a lot of juicy shit about like black dudes wearing cowboy hats and shit like that too we had some good banter so i do apologize this episode could have been better but 20 minutes of our shit got deleted so anyways hope you guys did enjoy what we did have to say i'm just smoking on some gmo punch the end of the night if you're a weed smoker, GMO actually means garlic, onion, and mushrooms. And any strain with garlic in it is usually pretty strong. It's usually a strong indica. So, anyways, yeah. That sucks, man. I was really wanting to have you guys listen to even wackier theories and shit, but it is what it is.